Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today guys I will do a general um, reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon and Rising. And let's begin. And we do have the Five of Pentacles. We might have a sense of rejection at this time, feeling alone. And the universe is, is asking you to go with the flow, with a fortune, right? Allow this. It is um, a blessing in disguise. It is meant to help you. It is meant to bring something positive to your life. So... Strength, control, and flow, right? Taming yourself and in the same time um, allowing the universe to do its work again. Two major arcana. So important changes that we need to allow to happen. We have flow and we have listened to your intuition. High Priestess and the Wheel of Fortune. It's all about um, information, knowledge intuition emotions under control now gemini let's see the bottom of the deck for the main focus at this time when you um, receive this reading and we do have joy and stability for some of you you need to focus on marriage and commitment this is the energy of celebrations and communities and weddings and the three of cups share the love and then we have the lovers which is you so we are guided to, to uh, you know how it feels, um, Gemini, it feels like you are guided to make the home, to make um, a home from a house, right? We have a house, we live with people, we have a husband, we have a wife, we have children, but actually you are guided here to make it a home by sharing the love, having unconditional love, making the choice to love them no matter what and focus on joy and stability that we need to bring to the table we do have the te the devil i'm not going to take it if it's meant to be we're gonna take it but for some of you might be <laughs> i'm tempted to call it the devil is in the house but you get my point we might be um having toxic energies around family around children around husband and wife and we need to we are actually asked to focus on at this time um it's your main uh focus point now let's see when it comes to your body when it comes to your mind what do we need to focus on when it comes to your soul and spirituality and when it comes to love beautiful you do have eight of cups walking away emotionally withdrawing from a situation that might be training um so gemini when it comes to your body it is the heart you know that heart and emotions i tend to believe it's heart because it's love and um i probably because it's focused right we need to focus on so i'm kind of sensing that you are guided to think more about love um to think about that heart of yours for some of you, you need to share more love and give more love to come from a, from the heart um to come from a place of emotions within you um that is uh, it's interesting that is something about love and something about emotion that the universe keeps saying to you with this one yes can be new beginnings yes can be new emotional experiences that you need to focus on but it is we asked for the body and they gave you the heart so some of you that is something there that we need to i'm not sensing as um um the heart in uh, as um you know having troubles and um you know and um sickness and i hate to call sickness on this reading but um i'm more sensing that you are um, called to be more loving towards your body towards your mind towards your situation towards your love you know to come from a place of love and it's interesting, Gemini, the mind, and you get the Ace of Pentacles. We have two Aces here and a lot of love. So when it comes to mind, it is about planting a seed, right? Ace of Pentacles is a very uh, everyday life kind of energy. It's all about knowledge and everyday life. It's, um, it's about planting a new kind of um, seed. So it's about a new kind of mind frame. Um, it's about developing something, working on something, starting from scratch when it comes to mind, right? It starts with that idea. And I know it's not Ace of Swords, but it's a beginning of strengthening bonds. 
it is the beginning of a new mind frame for your mind that you are guided um, to work for and towards and um, again can be such an overwhelming relationship new relationship that might take all your energy your uh, body and your mind but absolutely here some, someone is guided to focus body and mind to new beginnings and love and choices about love and happiness joy and stability that is the main focus it's i don't know um gemini if we've been lost looking for um i call them ghosts when it comes to me right sometimes we are chasing ghosts and we uh, think you know that they are the real deal um and actually the real deal is love right not the money not the career not the things we can we can achieve and the awards and prizes that, that we can have but actually love and stability and ace of pentacles is strengthening bonds putting down very solid roots when it comes to your body and when it comes to your mind when it comes to your emotions and your mind when it comes uh, when it comes to your spiritual life and it's again such a message it's nine of pentacles nine of pentacles is the energy of abundance is the energy of independence financial independence but it's in the spirit place and then you have energies of strengthening bonds and love again kind of like the universe saying for your spiritual life it's not the money it's the love and planting seeds and connections and developing something that withstands the test of time um and yes well deserved reward for some of you leading a spiritual life it's all about rewarding yourself from time to time and being kind um and it's okay you know um kind of a pat on your on your back and saying you're doing great you know and acknowledging and recognizing and valuing your spiritual life but i'm when we see the overall energy here actually we are guided towards love and stability actually in your spiritual life comes from love and not from money um and that's what we are guided to focus on so gemini when it comes to love is love swear to god there is somebody i'm picking up the energy of a gemini who probably is focusing on something else and the universe sent it sent one two three four five out of how many out of seven five out of seven energies of love right and even joy and stability is about love and marriage so gemini i don't know who you are but baby you better focus on love because um otherwise you are in trouble with the universe ace of cups two of cups coming together so you are us to uh, focus on this body mind and soul connection you have with somebody coming together with somebody from a place of love and stability and strengthening bonds from a place of um you know well-deserved reward and from a place of spirituality and mind frame of abundance right the abundance kind of a message here saying the abundance is love and not pentacles so now let's have some um, guidance, some love oracle cards and see what else we need to do about this. And we do have serendipity. This is longing for balance and quiet times and tranquility and a sense of accomplishment and a sense of peace when it comes to love. So serendipity, we are guided to focus and work towards some peace of mind. Gemini, act as if your partner is here. Whatever, um, whether you have someone in your life or not, act as if they are with you so you will always consider them. So it's all of, uh, about manifestation. Being at peace, staying at peace and manifesting this love. For some of you, I believe Gemini, I don't know if you gave up on love and something happened and the universe is pushing all the cards in the direction of do not give up, manifest love, stay at peace and know that you will come together with someone. And we have awakening, stay at peace and awakening, luminosity, right? Awakening the light bulb, just knowing, being awakened to the energy of self-love and manifestation and spirituality and staying at peace. I just love this. 
so much love in this one Gemini but because the question is what should I focus on I'm sensing that somebody might be a little bit stubborn here and the universe is pushing all the energies in the direction out love 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 now Gemini what we need to focus on at this time and the energies we need to put back back into the flow we do have indecision so we might have to surrender that indecision I use my intuition in all aspects of life I need my intuition we need to put intuition back into the flow at this time we do have honesty I can't always expect the truth from others but I can expect it from myself so you need to be honest with yourself imagination we put back into the flow so I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind okay surrender denial indecision and denial accept people and situations exactly as they are without denying the difficulties then you can see things clearly and make the best decisions and bottom of the deck you do have ownership so we take responsibility right you acknowledge your mistakes and accomplishments alike and learn to love them all as lessons so it's something that we need to take responsibility when it comes to this situation and focus on love when it comes to your body to your mind to your spiritual soul and spiritual life and your love oh beautiful and you show up here this is gemini energy the lovers 